I want to take you back almost 30 years to the postnatal ward at Bristol Maternity Hospital. A row of newborns are all quietly sleeping and snuffling in their transparent cots. Drawing closer to this tranquil scene reveals one of the babies is stirring, awake with beautiful eyes, open wide, urgently searching the horizon for human contact. 20 years after man stepped on the moon, Hannah had landed. <laughs> the newborn baby with the beautiful searching eyes has blossomed into a compassionate, uncomprising, engaging, smart and sassy, beautiful woman. You are a great man and an even greater friend. Hannah, it's lucky to have you. It's been an honour to have called you my best friend for the past 20 years. <laughs> Hannah is a great people person and she has been from the very beginning of her life. It is this gift of generous, open-hearted friendship that fills her life blesses all that know. It's been a wild and sometimes rough ride, but whatever life has thrown at us, we've danced, sang, laughed, and T-Rex walked our way through it. I love your weirdness and the way you make me laugh when nothing else could. You truly are my rock, my best friend in the world, my soulmate, my lobster, my pal, <laughs> and my train. <laughs> Matt, I give you this ring as a symbol of our love for today, tomorrow, and all of our days to come. You are my soulmate and best friend, my dancing partner and song collaborator, my only sunshine, my puppy daddy, my missing puzzle piece, and the only man I know with a five-year car plan. <laughs> We've had a whirlwind of a journey <laughs> so far, and I can't wait for the adventures that we have yet to dream of. I promise to love you, support and care for you, and of course to continue to dream wildly with you. Matt, do you take Hannah to be your wife for as long as you both shall live? Do you promise to love her, respect her, and always be on her side? I do. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> and Hannah, do you take Matt to be your husband for as long as you both shall live? Do you promise to love him, respect him, and always be on his side? I do. After. And it now gives me very great pleasure indeed to tell everybody here that you are, in fact, husband and wife. Give the girl a kiss. When Matt first told me about Hannah, he seemed genuinely excited. And then he showed me a picture and quickly pointed out how massive her, uh, her eyes were. And then it was clear to see exactly where the excitement came from. When we finally got to meet Hannah, I had a feeling from the start she'd be the one for Matt, as they had great chemistry and banter, but mainly because she could tolerate him for longer than five minutes. I knew then she'd be stuck with him for a long time. Together they share a great zest for life and they always have creative and, and ambitious plans. Things move fast with this pair. One moment they're living here. The next moment they're living there. Almost as quickly as they change jobs. But the one thing that has remained constant is Hannah's love and support. Uh, we dance, we laugh, we annoy each other, we sing, we argue, and then we laugh again and forget why we're annoyed pretty much every day. God knows how she puts up with me, but I'm so thankful that she does. Hannah and I met the old-fashioned romantic way. I swiped right. She swiped right. 
I sent a screenshot of her profile picture to my mates with the words, I word. <laughs> the general consensus was that I should. So I did. And now here we all are. And they say romance is dead. <laughs>